beautiful souls i am awakened soul and today we're going to be looking at bitcoin and we're going to be setting it up for our next trade always coming in with the fresh chart no emotions no expectations i want you to erase everything just leave uh the candles on and that's it right i do use the index chart i do use it under the log scale i think it's important and i'll be teaching you how i look at the charts every day and how i come in set it up and take one good trade a day first thing is turning on my 12 26 emas and of course and if you're not following me on social media follow me at awaken soul underscore 369 that is my twitter i do have a beautiful course and a free um discord where i literally live there <laughs> i'm always sharing my setups and whatnot um so yeah just follow me and we'll go from there and go ahead and hit the like on my video so first thing we're gonna do start off on our monthly why because i trade with the flow so like always we're gonna do one touch two touches and everything is color coordinated my monthly uh, trend lines are red everything's uh, based on the chakra colors so because a lot of my ta has no voice i just like to vibe with my music with my ta so like that you know when it comes when you see a red line you'll know it's the my monthly target so right here what do we see price action above 1226 above major monthly trend line that's bullish and now uh, we see price action crossing to the downside we see 1226 emas turn bearish so technically on the monthly we are bearish let me go ahead and give you a monthly bearish target one touch two touches and here is my target and if you don't know how to Get the one touch two touch targets again join my community uh, really educational community where i'm teaching people how to fish for yourself i'm not trying to guess the market where it's going next oops that's my discord let me share this with my community when i do live ta i like to share with my community so they know i'm here so that's my monthly bearish target right and then we're going to do one touch two touches and my bullish target um was already hit bullish target was 27k and as we can see that it was already hit wonderful so another thing really important as a technical analyst is to not have any bias you come in if you do a bearish TP, I expect you to do a bullish TP, right? Always be ready for the unexpected. Always be prepared for both scenarios because in the end of the day, BTC is going to do whatever she feels like doing. So the quotes of I know or I think or this is how I see it, those words need to come out of your vocabulary when it comes to trading. You come in, no emotions, no experience expectations you don't know where it's going i don't know where it's going you set up your charts you set your alarms and then you take the trade i am going to remove this monthly tp uh, because it's irrelevant now i already hit it right and um because it's gonna throw me off a little bit when i set my ranges so as a day trader your focus is on your range on price actions all within price action so how do i set my ranges right look at the previous monthly candle and turn on your magnet and just set your range this will be support and i use the candle opens and close to set my ranges so my monthly um Support and resistance are both considered support because price action is above. So there you go. This is my monthly range. And now we move into the weekly. On the weekly time frame, what do we see? Okay. It's important to understand market structure. So on the monthly, just really brief again. On the monthly, this is one contraction phase. Okay. Just like here, we had one contraction phase. We have one contraction phase here. 
So on our weekly, coming down to our weekly, that monthly ends up being two contraction phases. One contraction phase here, two contraction phase here. So this is our focus. What is our contraction phase doing? So just look at it, connect some trend lines, not the fib. So just one touch, two touches. And why did I decide to mark this trend line to the upside? It's simple because we had a downtrend and I have a strong monthly uh, resistance. We broke to the upside. So now we follow it with the weekly. Okay. So now with the weekly, we know we broke. Now we broke to the downside. So that's going to be one touch, two touches on the weekly. We crossed down and we could definitely see a retest of the weekly and then continuation to the downside. So if this is the case, this is my weekly time frame right here. My weekly, um, sorry, my weekly bearish TP. And like I've mentioned before, just how I have a weekly, I expect you to mark a bullish, right? I mean a bearish bullish. So this is my bearish weekly and my bullish weekly, one touch, two touches. Could most definitely come all the way to 30k okay it's a, it's important to understand that 30k is possible once you have your targets your trend lines go ahead and mark your range range is remember the previous candle uh candle open and candle close not the wicks and my weeklies are orange so let's make sure we change everything to orange we have a beautiful range and we have two possibilities right now just looking at it because we cross the weekly to the upside i am getting a bullish um sense here but again we don't trade with our emotions uh we're just looking at what the story is telling us now let's move into our daily on our daily here what do we see and just like uh we saw this whole section as a weekly contraction phase on our daily we're just gonna focus on the zone okay what do we see on the zone you know i was just thinking about it like this is what about if this is like a triple top like a one two and three that'll be interesting interesting concept here that i noticed today and that's the beautiful thing about doing ta every day you come in no expectations right now the, for the first time ever i just submitted to my discord this could be a possible triple top to end up uh, to come back down to the downside big possibility okay so on my daily what am i gonna do i'm gonna focus on price action i'm gonna set my range again uh using the previous candle the weekly is confluence to the same resistance as the daily so there's no need to mark it or you could just or you could whatever makes you happy it's yellow and i'll show you why it's important to keep this color coordination going on okay i'm gonna set a daily trend line got my range daily trend line to the upside um this could be definitely a channel that i'm seeing here one touch two touches here okay big possibility here so i'm looking at it as let's focus as uh, a contraction phase more than anything back to our contraction phase right let's just focus on this area for now even though we see a weekly target up here let's just focus here so we have a major daily support here and just like we have support we want to create that resistance i like to use the higher high lower low indicator i'm going to set it to 15 just to guide me on my trend lines one one more maybe a nine mm 
let me see a three. So I'm looking for a pattern more than anything, right? Every contraction face will give you a pattern. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to see if I can see any pattern with the, this contraction face. So I'm going to be honest with you. Um, this looks like a cup here. Big possibility for uh, this cup to play out. What else do I see? Right, a uh, bear flag. I do see a bear flag. You see how this could be a possible bear flag. Big possibility, possibility of a cup. If the cup comes in play, let's give you a measured move. I'm gonna erase the higher highs. I like to get measured moves with the line chart. So this would be my neckline here. And this would be my measured move here. So we would break to the upside. Um, right, I could give us that confluence to that weekly trend line. Big possibility, big possibility. Let me go ahead and clone this. So just, just so my Discord could see what I'm talking about. Big possibility. And those are just possibilities and this is the name of the game it's a probability game what are the probabilities what do you see what are um what could happen next more than anything so we see a positive bolt, um rising wedge right possible bear flag to the downside and remember a bear flag your longest price action doesn't hold price action above the 50 percent retracement it is still considered a bear flag a bear flag um, tends to hold around the 38.20 if you want to write that down really important and this is my bear flag um, bib if you want to screenshot this it's amazing i love it this is what i use to trade okay so we have have the situation have the scenarios here again possible bear flag Okay, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. A lot of possibilities on the daily, and it's important to, to see that and to capture that so you could be ready for your next play. So let's get, get in here. Let's get closer. And let's see what the four-hour contraction phase is doing. So four-hour contraction phase, this is our zone here. This is our focus for the four-hour. What is this zone doing? We know the possibilities. Um, so now we are getting closer, right? That's why it's important to start off and for me on my monthly and my weekly and my daily. And now on my four hour, I know my possibility of this could be going to the upside or coming to the downside, right? A possible cup, a measure move cup. Or, sorry, my dog's about to bark. Okay. I hope you didn't hear that. But So those are my four-hour possibilities. So what do we do on my four hours? Same process. We're going to start with turning on our higher high, lower low indicator. I like to use the 30. And to guide us to set some key trend lines, I want more trend lines here because this is my contraction phase. So let's go for a 15. Okay. I see two, two key um, resistance trend lines here. So this is going to be my key four hour resistance. Four hours are green. Really important here. beautiful and I hope you're having a beautiful day I hope you are understanding and seeing what I'm seeing um, 
cancel the noise, cancel the news, cancel your <laughs> everything. Just look at price action. Just look at price action, guys. That's all you really need to look at. So we're getting closer to our our possibility, right? And again, that's what we're looking for. We are looking for a possible play. What is the next play here? So let's get closer. And now let me explain why it's key for me to get those um, ranges. The reason I use ranges and it's important for me is because I believe that Price action is a mechanical component of uh, buyers and sellers. Price action is a weighted system where you could see here, just based on my color, if we don't hold the daily support, if we could come down to our weekly support. If we don't hold weekly, it could come down to our monthly. Now, if price action holds here and we get a nice support here, we could come back to our resistance daily. So I use it as a visual to see price action as an elevator as it moves up and down within the ranges. I hope that gave you a nice visual. Um, again, here for hours, what are our possibilities? We could definitely, we could definitely hold price action here, and then it could choose right. It could go up, or it could go down. What are our possibilities here within this four hour? That is the question. So what I'm going to do as a trader, right? I understand my possibilities now. I'm going to start going to the one hour. The one hour is going to tell me a story. I'm going to follow price action. That's all I care about, price action. I'm going to get a key resistance, key support. Where is my key support? Sometimes I like to use the sessions indicator. The sessions indicator, if you zoom in, it's going to give you a POC of, of the previous um, session. This is my POC. This is my high. I Right here, this is my range for next play. I'm feeling that. range i just feel like it's gonna come back down to the downside but again sorry for saying that we're not feeling anything okay there's no feelings in trading anything about feelings need to go out out the way we have a nice range playing this is a cute little contraction phase i'm just gonna get key one hour trend lines to give me that perfect range this is going to be blue. Okay. I'm going to go to my 15 minutes. So pretty much on my 15 minutes, um, getting pivot highs and lows. All right. Just look at this. This is a W to the upside. And this is, could be a flag. So this flagpole could definitely play out and we could get a measured move to the upside. Right. Or continue to the downside, obviously. So I hope you learned something more than anything. I hope you see what I see. Um, I love you guys. This is what I do all day, every day. This is your next play. Uh, again, join my free community. It's free. And I help you learn the skill for yourself. As a trader, this is your contraction phase. This is your focus point. Yes, we could continue to the upside or we could just swing down to the downside at NAH. So we 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 have to see what she's gonna do be patient set your alarms and go from there may the force be with you and this would be a nice sc scalp to the down or, or to the upside it all depends and my line in the sand to go down um it's def definitely gonna be be the weekly right here this is gonna be key 
why weekly support because it would be confluence with my daily uh, rising wedge so usually i use that confluence with my trend lines and my horizontal line so this would be my line in the sand so i hope you learned something again line in the sand my weekly all right love you guys um and yeah follow me and all social medias and join bye bye